Welcome to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. I am your host, Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, and I am the Lone Arranger. What a beautiful Sunday it is out here enjoying this weekend. You know, we're, uh, we're in December now, we're well in de- December as a matter of fact, and uh, just hitting the home stretch of the year. And uh, you know what, I always really like to kind of recap everything when it comes to the real estate industry, what's going on with the market right now. Is it important to you? Because you may be out there right now and you you may think, hey, I already own a home. What do I need to listen to a mortgage show? Well, this show is not only about how to save money when you're buying or selling real estate, but it gives you an idea of what's going on in the economic climate when it comes to real estate. And here's why that's important to you. Whether you own a home, you don't own a home, You've refinanced, you haven't refinanced, it doesn't matter. Here's why it's important to you. The entire, not only the, just the nation, but the entire world revolves around the American real estate economy. Think about it. If my industry is doing well, then you're probably doing pretty well as well. Okay, if I'm not doing so well, you're probably not doing as well either. You look at that when the real estate industry is bolstered, if it's strong, if it's, if it's got momentum, then people are buying cars, they're renovating their homes, they're buying clothes, they're spending money, consumer spending's way up. And that's why it's important that everyone understands what's going on in the real estate market. So let's talk a little bit about that. We've hit, we're hitting the home stretch of the year right now. Uh, and you know, uh, it's, it's Sunday. It's the, it's the year's over. If you were wanting to buy a home right now and you weren't already in contract to buy a home, the chances on you closing by the end of the year are highly unlikely, highly unlikely. So although not impossible, but highly unlikely. So if you did want to close by the end of the year and you're in contract or you wanted to refinance between now and the end of the year, call me immediately so we can get the process started and we'll do the best we can to make sure that we can wrap it up. But even appraisals are taking two to three weeks right now. I'm getting some of them in a week, but those type of things can delay the process. I can process a loan quickly, but I've got to rely on ancillaries. And boy, I'm going to tell you, come December, you got people, title companies on vacation, appraisers on vacation, surveyors are on vacation, all of the ancillaries that are necessary to be able to complete and close a loan for you. But let's forget about that. And let's talk about what is going on in the market. What are rates doing? So here's the thing. Have you noticed that interest rates are starting to tick back up? I know you've been hearing me tell you every week for years what the market's doing. And over the last year and a half, I've said, keep an eye on rates. They're going to go up. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I predicted that they were going to go up sooner than they actually did. They stayed lower longer. And I think people got real comfortable with that. And you start to see people think it's the norm. It's not the norm. Listen, a 3% interest rate is not the norm. A 2.5% interest rate is not the norm. It's the exception. We're starting to move into the norm. And what is going to drive rates up and what has driven rates up? Well, you have to remember that interest rates on mortgages are not tied to prime rate. However, prime rate and other economic and monetary policies can tend to influence it somewhat. For instance, if rates are going to go up, what would cause them to go up? Well, there's two things. The bond market could deteriorate, meaning that institutional money is shifting from equities, stocks, into bonds. Okay, If that's what's happening, then you're going to see interest rates improve. If they're moving out of bonds and into equities, you're likely going to see interest rates decline or increase in price. Now, we've seen a lot of ups and downs recently, and there's been a couple of things that have impacted that that have caused the stock market and the bond market to go in the same direction. That's not usually the way things happen. Usually it's a teeter-totter effect. 
But lately, you're seeing stocks bolsters and interest rates are starting to deteriorate. What's causing interest rates to deteriorate or get worse in in layman terms? Well, the federal government has been the key to keeping interest rates down. It's not the economy. It's the federal government has been buying mortgage-backed securities. So if the feds are buying mortgage-backed securities, they've been artificially keeping interest rates at an all-time low. Many of you already know that. Those of you that don't know that, here's what's happening. So the federal government, if you've been watching Powell, he's been out there toting that they are going to what's called taper, meaning they're going to start reducing the amount of mortgage-backed securities. So they were buying $10 billion a month. They're down to less than $4 billion a month. And they said that they're going to completely quit buying mortgage-backed securities at least by the first quarter of 2022. Well, it doesn't take them to stop buying mortgage-backed securities to start driving rates up. All they have to do is say that they're going to do it, and it already starts to happen. And that's why you've seen interest rates start to pop up. But you're also seeing the stock market rallying. Now, we had a few bad days here and there. We've had a few good days. It's been, quite frankly, a ride in the stagecoach. But you've seen some ups and downs. But you're seeing the stock market still continue to climb And as the stock market's climbing, people are pulling out of bonds. Why would people go from bonds to stocks? Bonds are a safe haven. So when the market's unstable, then people go into bonds or institutional money shifts their money into bonds because they can protect the asset. They don't make a lot of money on them, but they keep from losing money. That's what's driving the market up and down. So you're starting to see interest rates go up. Now, let's talk about interest rates. What's going on? And is it still the right time to buy or did we miss the boat? So first, we're going to talk about refinances. Refinance loans have actually really started to go up. But I wanted to tell you about one of the favorite, my favorite things to do right now to help the most amount of people. But it doesn't fit all. Well, nothing in my business is one size fits all. However, If you've got equity in your property and you don't need to cash out money, in other words, to consolidate or do home improvements, you just want to refinance the balance, but you want me to include your closing costs and prepaids in it so there's no money out of pocket. That's called a no cash out refinance. And I've got a bargain on 15 year no cash out refinances. In other words, your credit score typically impacts your rate on almost every mortgage, but it won't impact your rate so much on a 15-year no cash out. Matter of fact, I'll just tell you, this is not a rate quote because if I give rate quotes, I got to give a lot of disclaimer on this, but I will tell you a story, and that is a story about a client that I talked to this week. It's a past client. They called me. They... Their loan ended up getting sold. I closed it about four years ago, got sold, and they went to a company. I won't mention any names, but it's a bank, and it starts with a W. And they called that bank to refinance, and they got a quote from the bank. And I looked at that, and I went, I wouldn't do that loan. I would not recommend you do that, even though the interest rate's better than what you already have. Here's what I would recommend you do. And I quoted them. This guy, by the way, this guy's got a 629 credit score. That is not a good score, guys. If you think that your scores are good at 629, that is way low. Your average credit score is 725. That's an average score. So 629, not good. Okay. However, I was able to secure a 15-year fixed rate loan for them with that credit score, no cash out refi. They were at about 65, 75% loan to value, secured that rate at 2.625. You heard me, 2.625% for that client. That is not a rate quote. I'm just telling you what I did for them. If you would like me to give you a rate quote, all you got to do is stop the car, pull the lawnmower over, park the, the, the vacuum cleaner, put the laundry down and write this number down or call me right now. 
If you call me right now or text me right now, at least you'll have my number saved. 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. Or go directly to my website at webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. You can remember that website. It's easy. We bring you home. Where are we going to bring you? We're going to bring you home. We bring you home.com. I want to help you save money. Now I'm taking this person that's been into their mortgage for four years, paying 4.875% interest rate to a 2.625% interest rate and knocking off what? 10, 13 years off their mortgage. Do you realize how much money they're going to save? Now, their payment went up about $250 a month, but they're saving $300,000 over the life of the mortgage. That's what I like doing. So if you're interested and you haven't refinanced yet, or maybe you want to pull some money out to consolidate, don't wait any longer, my friends. Listen to me now. It's not a sales pitch. I'm telling you the truth. Rates are going up. Stop, write my number down, 407-706-3313. All right, so that's about refinances. Let's talk about purchases because I'm getting some people that are going, you know what, I really think I'm going to hold off on buying because prices just seem to be at an all-time high. They seem to be a little outrageous. Okay, let's put this all in perspective. You're right. Prices are at an all-time high. You're right. They may seem outrageous. Here's where you want to really put things in perspective. I don't care what time frame you look at in the past, but, but prices of homes were always cheaper. They did not go down. They went down. If you're listening to the show, I'll bet you they went down once in your lifetime. And that was in 2008 in 2009, maybe it stretched into 2010, then started to recover. But we started to pick up the end of 2009. 2008 and 2009 were tough years. We lost some ground. Why did that happen? And is it going to happen again? Here's why it happened. It happened because of my industry. You heard me. I'm not afraid to say it. It was the mortgage industry that put this whole country, and not only our country, but many other countries that were buying our mortgage-backed securities, bogus securities that were sold by Countrywide, which is not to be confused with cross-country mortgage. I'm cross-country mortgage, nothing to do with Countrywide whatsoever. But you had Merrill Lynch and Bank of America and Countrywide packaging up these subprime loans and selling them off like they were golden and they were just junk. People were getting 100% financing. They had lousy credit. They weren't verifying their income. They were making up their income. I mean, you had people working in McDonald's flipping burgers, making $7 an hour that were buying $350,000 homes. And then they think they could flip them because their friend did it and make money. And then the truth came out and they weren't really performing transactions whatsoever. And that put us into tailspin and that's what caused the recession. Now, Why isn't that going to happen? Because we have what's called prudent underwriting. At least that's my terminology for it. Prudent underwriting, meaning it has to make sense. You have to have a credit score that meets guidelines. You have to fit within a debt to income ratio that fits guidelines. And you have to have enough cash to put into the transaction or equity in a refinance. It just makes sense. Now, you want me to look at this? I'm going to show you why you should buy and don't wait any longer. When we come back from the next break, I'm going to give you an illustration of how much money you're leaving on the table by waiting. Don't turn the channel. Don't turn me off. I've got some very important things I want to share with you, and I think that you're going to find it impactful, not only for you, but for your friends and family. I'll be back in five minutes with more of the Lone Arranger Radio Show with Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. I'll be back in five. 
Welcome back to the Loner Ranger Radio Show with Bruce Woodburn. I am the Loner Ranger. Now, I promised you in the last, uh, the end of the last segment that I was going to really give you something to sink your teeth into on why you should not wait if you're considering buying a home. This has got to be the year you do it. 2022 is the year I'm committed to helping more first-time home buyers than I've ever helped in the history of my 32-year career, be 33 years in March. So I'm committed to helping more first-time home buyers, and I'm going to do whatever I can to help you become a homeowner. And here's why. First of all, is it too late to get in the market? No. Is it gotten a little higher for you and a little harder for you to get into a home? Absolutely. Why? Our government loves inflation. Our President Joe just thinks that inflation is not a problem. And all he's done is tricked the general public to thinking that he's not about raising taxes, but inflation is basically raising taxes. If it costs you more to live and you're not putting more money in your pocket, then your taxes have gone up. This is not a political message. It's just a fact. Okay. Now, that is going to raise the price of houses. Houses can't go down in price because it costs to build them is costing more. So you're going to continue to rise in price. But that's good for you if you own property. It's not as good for you if you don't own property. So you've got to get in the game. Okay. Everybody that bought a home thought they were buying at the peak of the market. Nobody bought at the bottom of the market. Go back to 1952, 62, 65, 75, 85, 95, 2005. Everybody thought that the market was at its high. Why? Because it was at its high. And next year, it'll be higher than this year. And it's going to continue to go up. Get in the game now. It is costing you more to rent. I was just looking up your average rent in central Florida is, uh, what did I pull up? $1,539. What does that get you? A 2-2 apartment, okay? A 2-2 apartment. But if you're looking in College Park area, it's around 2100 to 2800 Downtown Orlando is about $2,000 a month. Come on, you guys. I can get you into a $420,000 transaction, FHA, $420,000 loan, about $15,000 down payment. And your your payment on that is not going to be much different than it would if you were renting uh, 4-3. Okay. Let's say we're going to be in, we're going to be in the range. If you bought, let's just say $350,000 purchase, you'll be 2,300 bucks a month all in taxes, insurance, mortgage insurance, and everything. And you're out of pocket about twelve two fifty for down payment and about six thousand dollars by the time you're finished your closing costs and all your escrows. Okay, and don't get a lender to pay those for you. All you're doing is going to increase your interest rate. It's foolish. Don't be foolish. Do what the do what's going to save you the most money over a long period of time and in the short period of time. Now. If you don't already have a real estate agent in mind that is a strong negotiator that will help you with closing costs, you immediately pick up the phone and call me at 407-706-3313, 407-706-3313. I'm going to refer you to somebody that's going to fight to get, get closing costs paid for you. And we'll make sure we get you in for a little amount as possible out of pocket. Just go to my website, complete the application, let me get you fully pre-approved, and I'll connect you with the best real estate agent in the area that you desire to buy in. Webringyouhome.com or 407-706-3313. You can text me there right now. I'm in the station, on the air. Let's get this started today. There's no reason for you to let 2022 pass you by, and you continue to be a renter. There is no such thing as a rich renter. When we come back from the next break, I'm going to do some math with you that will blow your mind on how much money you can make in real estate, even if the prices don't rise even close to the rate they're at right now. I'll be back in five minutes, 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. 407-706-3313 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com.
Welcome back to the Lone Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, and yes, I am the Lone Ranger. What a beautiful Sunday it is. You know, I have to tell you what a great time it was Friday night at the K92 3 All Star Jam. Man, that event was over the top, and I want to thank so many of my listeners for coming out and seeing me, stopping by my my booth and uh, meeting my team. We're so committed to helping you. So I want to talk a little bit about, I set some goals. I do goals every year. If you don't do goals every year, start setting some goals, and then write them down and look at them every day. So one of my goals for 2022 is to help the most first-time home buyers that I've ever helped in my career. Now, it's you know it's been 32 year ride for me, so I've helped a lot of first-time home buyers over the years, thousands. However, I want to make this a breakthrough year. Now, why do I want to make it a breakthrough year for helping the most first-time home buyers? Because you are becoming at a complete disadvantage and it's going to make it harder and harder and harder for you to get into a home because your incomes with inflation are not going up fast enough to keep up with the pace of the price of homes. And if interest rates rise by a half a point, a half a point on a $300,000 house, it's going to cost you 200 bucks. And if they go up $50,000 is another 200 bucks. So the same house costs you $400 a month more By waiting. Don't wait. I want to put some things in perspective for you right now. First of all, I'm asking you for your help. I want you to write my phone number down. It's my personal cell phone number. You can text me there. You can call me there. 407-706-3313. 407-706-3313. Or my website is webringyouhome.com. Now, hear me out. My goal is to help more first-time home buyers. What I'm asking you to help me with is help me find more people that I can help. Because here's the reality of it. Nobody's out there going, wow, I really like being a tenant. This is amazing. My landlord's fantastic. They fix everything in a moment's notice. And boy, am I building up a lot of equity in this property. None of those things happen. You might like your landlord. I think my tenants like me. I'm a good landlord. However, you're never going to get rich renting property. You only make wealth by owning real estate. There's no such thing as a rich renter. So I'm committed to helping find more first-time homebuyers, but I need you to be my bird dog out there to help me find more people. You get them to me. There's only a couple things that are going to keep them from buying. Their credit sucks. Guess what? I got an amazing credit repair program. They don't have any cash. Guess what? We're going to show them how to use their 401k. We're going to show them how to use their tax refund for their tax refund that they're going to get in February or March. And we're going to help them find a way to be able to come up with the minimum amount down. So let's just put these numbers in perspective. Your average rent for a 4-2 right now is about 2100 bucks. Okay? You can get a you can get a 2-2 two, two or 2-2-1 two, two, or a 3-2 in not such a great area for maybe 1550 bucks. But we'll just say your average rent's going to be 2100 bucks. And it's going up at the rate of 7.5% per year. Okay. That's a pretty steep increase. Rates haven't gone up 7.5%. They've only gone up less than a quarter of a percent. But housing prices have gone up almost 20%, 15% locally right here on average. So I want to put something in perspective. If you buy a home right now, a first-time home buyer for 350 grand, I'm going to tell you something. It's going to get harder and harder to find a $350,000 house that you're going to want to live in. I'm not saying you can't find one for two fifty. dollars I'm just saying that most of you are going to be looking around, and if you want decent schools in a decent area, you're probably going to be closer to three twenty-five, three fifty. dollars So let's just use three fifty dollars as an example. And let's just say your credit is, yeah, it's okay. It's not great. It's okay. It's not crappy. It's okay. All right? Maybe it's... 650, 700, anything over 725, you start to become, 725 is average. You get above that, you're starting to be above average. So let's just say you're 
625, 650. $350,000 house. FHA, 3.5% down. All of that money could come from a gift from your immediate relative. Not a friend, immediate relative. Grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, brother, sister, mom, and dad. Okay? Your investment into that transaction is $12,250. All right? You're going to get a $5,000 refund to your taxes. You can probably pull a little money out of a 401k. You can come up with twelve five. dollars Now, that doesn't include all of your closing costs and prepaid escrows. So let's just assume that we got another, I don't know, $3,500 in closing costs and $2,500 in escrows. That's reasonable for a three fifty house. That's $6,000. So now you need eighteen two fifty dollars all in. But if you call me, I'll connect you with a real estate agent that will contribute toward that $6,000 in closing costs. You might get it down 2000 bucks, 3000 bucks. Now we're into it for your investment only or close to it. So twelve, thirteen thousand dollars out of pocket. You own your own home, and your home's worth three hundred fifty thousand dollars when you buy it. Now, let's just put this in perspective. If that house at three hundred fifty thousand dollars only goes up by three percent, not fifteen, three percent. Just listen to me. Pay close attention. Because we've been seeing 15 to 20% annual appreciation. But 3%, $350,000 times 3% is 10.5. Now remember, your investment was only 12250 That is an 86% return on your investment in the very first year. I want you to tell me where you're getting an 86% return on any investment, any stock. I don't care if it's Google or Tesla. You didn't make 86%. Okay? And you have to have a place to live anyway. So if you're going to help me, if you're going to be my bird dog out there, grandpa, grandma, dad, mom, you have adult children or grand, adult ch- grandchildren, you're going to leave them money when you die. They're just going to go out and blow it. They're going to buy a Boston Whaler fishing boat. They're going to buy a Harley Davidson. They're going to upgrade to an 80-inch screen TV. That's the things they're going to do. They're going to go on some trips. They're going to spend your hard-earned money when you pass on crappy stuff. Now, you can give them a gift right now, and you can ensure that the gift is protected. They can't spend it. It's in equity. It's a down payment on a house. And if you're concerned about them going back later and just refinancing or churning the mortgage and pulling money out and spending your money that you gave them, then I put you on the deed and they can't do anything to the mortgage without you signing in the future. Now, that doesn't put you on the mortgage. It doesn't obligate you for any debt, but it keeps it protected so your investment is protected. You want to help your legacy, you want to help your children and grandchildren, then help me help them become a buyer because their rents are going up by 7.5% per year. And by God, if it keeps going in that direction, you're not only going to regret not giving them a little helping hand now, but they're going to be moving into the house with you because they can't afford to rent. Because if you're making a combined income of sixty-five to eighty-five thousand dollars a year, and your rents are twenty-five hundred dollars a month, you're not making enough to afford two car payments and your rent. So help them get into a home right now. You can protect your investment. Require them to come out. I'm not talking about you have to give them all the money. I'm talking about help them out. Okay, find out. Ben and Susan, how much is your tax refund going to be? Uh, it's about $7,500 combined. Okay, you put your $7,500 in it, and I'll match you your $7,500, or whatever the case is. And then we're going to put you on the deed with them so they can never touch that property. they got to keep making the payments. Payments are made, and their, their investment is going to almost double in the first year. Almost double. And that's at 3%. It will more than double. If they get 7%, if they get 15%, 
which with the cost of inflation going up, they're probably still going to get that. They're going to explode with money. And it's going to be a game changer because once you own a piece of property and you turn back around and you go, oh my God, honey, we bought that house for three fifty. I just looked on the Zillow and it says it's worth four twenty five, dollars and it's only been 18 months. It's going to be a game changer for them. And you can be part of that solution. Stop the car, pull the lawnmower over, park the the washing machine, put the laundry down, park the, the vacuum cleaner, write my phone number down because I'm committed to helping your family. And you can come in and see me. I'm committed. I've been in the same location for 22 years. I've been here in the same market for 32 years, almost 33. 407-706-3313. You got me here. I'm committed. You can put me to the test. You can test everything out. You can Google me. You can check out Zillow reviews on me. They're unbelievable. Why? Because I promise to take good care of you and your family. 407-706-3313. 407-706-3313. Or go to my website at webringyouhome.com. Webringyouhome.com. Let's say I go ahead, you do your online application. I call you up and I go, Betty and John, I'm going to tell you something. Credit score is too low. Don't have enough cash. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get your credit score up. You're going to do this, this, and this. Your score, based on my analyzer, is going to increase your score from 620 to 719, whatever that number is. Now you qualify. You're going to get a tax refund. We're going to borrow from 401k. Don't tell me that you're afraid to borrow from your 401k. Unless your 401k is making you 20%, you're borrowing from your 401k because your rent's going up by 7.5% per year. So if, if, and if you've got no 401k, then you should have a 401k. I'm about diversification. When I teach my wealth building and home buying class, I'm encouraging you to max your 401k as much as you possibly can. Max it out. And then buy a home. Three times your annual salary. That's how much your home should be. Three times your annual salary. So if you're making 100 grand combined a year, you should be buying a $300,000 house. That's the number. That will grow. That will grow by 3 to 10% per year. And you're going to turn back and you're going to thank me for kicking your butt and pushing you into buying a home. Because you'll never turn around in the future and go, wow, I really made a lot of money renting. What a great decision that was. There's no such thing as a rich renter. Nobody dies rich as a renter. You can't find that person. Go ahead. Text me their name. My text number, my phone number is 407-706-3313. Now, I'll show you a lot of people. Matter of fact, I've got several people that have been in my wealth building home buyer class that have been in it multiple times. I got one client. They are already on their fourth property. They're going to be multimillionaires by the time they re- retire. And guess what? Other people are paying the mortgages for them. They're, they're only paying for the mortgage they live in. You want to get involved in my wealth building and I'll show you how I did it? Listen, I'm a 10th grade dropout. Okay? 10th grade dropout. I got a GED and a PhD, public high school diploma equivalency. That's what I got. Follow the guy of hard knocks, not the Harvard graduate that's talking in terms you don't understand and using numbers that don't make sense, but they sound good. It's BS. Follow my path. I'll drive you in the right direction. No strings attached. There's nothing in it for me other than maybe I get to help you with your mortgage. 407-706-3313. Help me find more buyers that are renting right now. I'll be back in five minutes with more of the Lone Arranger radio show. Bruce Woodburn, Let's 
Welcome back to the last segment of the Lone Ranger Radio Show with Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage. If you have any questions, you'd like to text me, you'd like to talk to me, just pick up the phone. Give me a call at 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. You can watch me on the Spotify or you listen to me on the podcast Spotify or iHeartRadio. Or you can go to my YouTube channel at Bruce Woodburn, The Lone Arranger uh, YouTube channel. You can watch this show live if you'd like or recorded. It's always there available for you to catch up on all the topics that we've talked about. So we're hitting the last four minutes of the show, and I want to just bring some more good news about the market. First of all, right now, I'm loving 15-year no cash out refinances. I cl- I locked a client in this week that only had 629 credit scores on a conventional loan and I got them a 2.625 rate. I mean, 15 year. That's unbelievable. This is not a rate quote. This is a story. So when I quote rates, you got to give APRs and costs and all that stuff. So I'm not doing that because this is not a rate quote. This is a story of a client that I got into a mortgage at that rate. True story. Uh, I, and I can help you. 15-year no cash out conventional refis. Under 80% loan to value. Beautiful program. Now, I'm committed to helping more first-time home buyers this year than I've ever helped in my 32-year history. I need you to be my bird dog and help me find more people that want to buy and get out of renting. Secondly is, got some good news. HUD FHA raised their loan limits to 420,680. That's 420,680. That would allow you to put three and a half percent down on a $435,000 house. That means you could buy a $435,000 house with marginal credit at best and your investments only about 15,250. I mean, come on guys, why would you keep renting? Now, another good news is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, as of January 1st, also raised their limits to $647,200. That's $647,200. That means, listen to this, guys. That means you can get a conventional loan. Keep your hard-earned money in your investments because you're making a ton of money in your investments. You could buy a $681,000 house and only put 5% down and get a conventional loan. No longer has to be a jumbo. That's $34,000 on a $681,000 house is your only investment into that. That's insanity, guys. Come on. And if your house only goes up by 3%, you made a 60% return on your investment. 60%. I can show you how you do that on an FHA loan at four at four hundred and thirty five thousand and make eighty six percent return on your investment. Come on, guys! There's no easier way to make money. It's the easiest way to make money, and it's safe. It puts it in a safe place. You can't tip dip into it for emergencies. It's going to be there for retirement. It will help you build wealth. Let me help you. Let me help your friends, your family your grandchildren, your children. I'm committed. I'm local. I'm doing this for my own kids. 407-706-3313. I'll help your kids too. 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. Easiest doggone loan application in the history of the interweb. I've never seen an easier one. You to put me to the test. Go to webringyouhome.com. And if it you don't find it the easiest way to apply for a mortgage, I don't know what could be easier. Not only does it, it take the application easily, it even automatically sends you a basic checklist. Come on, you guys. Don't waste time. Stop being a renter. Pick up the phone. 407-706-3313. Let's buck your landlord. 407-706-3313. 3313 webringyouhome.com that Wow. That's bucking your landlord. See you next week. Don't forget webringyouhome.com 407-706-3313. Have a great weekend.